Magazine Tour. On this week's World Menu, we take a look at the beautiful cuisine of Thailand, which is enjoyed in different styles all over the world. We open the doors to a world of sweet, sour and spicy deliciousness. Chewy and fragrant mushrooms are a true gift from the earth. They're savoury, fragrant and good for your health. Learn all about mushrooms on Healthy Kitchen. What's the best food you've ever tasted? Was it the romantic dish cooked by a spouse? Or maybe the exotic array of foods enjoyed on a vacation? Or maybe it was that delicious home-cooked meal you had with your family. But whatever it is, and I'm sure it was great, wouldn't they have a couple of things in common? Such as being beautiful to look at, pleasant for the nose, and satisfying to the taste buds. Well, today, we have a traditional cuisine that includes all of these factors. We invite you to journey into the mesmerizing world of Thai food. World Menu <laughs> Thailand attracts tourists with its exotic culture and landscape. And the openness of the culture is reflected in its cuisine. Flavors from nearby countries and Thailand's own unique flavors are blended well and the result is a cuisine that has captivated taste buds around the world. One taste of Thai cuisine and you'll become an instant fan. Globalizing the beauty of food, Thai cuisine. Khao San Road is a hot spot for tourists from around the world and it is the place for Thai food. Popular dishes and favourite ingredients in Thailand are cooked and prepared right before your eyes. You'll be instantly charmed by Thai food. And you won't regret your choice. I enjoy this kind of street foods. It's wonderful. So, dinner is always preferred to have try different items of the street. So, this is I think one of the best street in Thailand. One thing you must not forget to try in Thailand is the street food. This is a Thai restaurant. There is a common food on every customer's order sheet. It's one of the three famous dishes of the world, Thai Dom Yang Gung. Dom Yang Gung is a staple Thai dish, and its mixture of various flavors is even more enjoyable because its nutrients are known to prevent cancer. <laughs> Yeah, Tom Yong Gung is um, it's spicy and if it's done well it's spicy and fresh and it has a very deep flavour and it's, it's almost like when you drink a very good wine it's, over time the, the flavour in your mouth changes so it's, it's, it's good, it's very interesting, very complex Dom means to boil and gung is shrimp. So what's the secret to the delicious taste of Dom Yang Gung? The shrimp adds a strong seafood flavor that blends well with the exotic scent of lime, lemongrass and mushrooms. But it's the flavor of prikinu, a symbol of the spicy taste of Thai food which completes the deliciousness. This one uh, in Thai food, Maybe 90% use pikinu or small chili. Yes, 90%. Thai people think have a 
eating spicy could help could help could boost body. Yes. Various spices and 20 types of herbs are put in a chicken broth with an appropriate amount of chili sauce that balances with the main ingredients. The flavor may taste foreign at first, but the more you try it, the more you'll get hooked. A harmony of sweet, sour and spicy flavors. Its reputation is already widespread internationally. The tropical climate of Thailand is a haven for fruits and vegetables. From mangoes to durian, pineapples and papayas, you can enjoy fruits all year round. These fruits can be used to make delicious low-calorie salads. Som Dam is a salad that can be enjoyed in takeout form anywhere, anytime. The spicy taste of som dam comes from the thin sliced papayas, various fruits and vegetables mixed with chili sauce. Add lime, peanuts and dried shrimp for extra chewiness. Next up is the transformation of the pineapple. Take out the inside of the half sliced pineapple, empty it and dice the pulp. Fill the pineapple with stir-fried seafood and rice. The result? A fresh bowl of pineapple stir-fried rice. ข้าวอบสับปะรดที่เมืองไทยเยอะมากๆอร่อยดีแล้วก็ส้มตำส้มตำก็เยอะมากๆที่เมืองไทยเยอะมากๆอร่อยดีคนไทยนิยมชอบ
these stir-fried dishes, made with generous amounts of natural herbs and spices, illustrate the healthy everyday diet of the Thai people. The comprehensive flavors and colors that entice the taste buds and the wide range of ingredients from which you may choose are just a couple of reasons Thai food is a global favorite. I'm, I'm a big fan of Thai food. I think it's really good. I like Indi I'm from England, so we eat a lot of Indian food, so I like it spicy. So spice is really good. And I like fish, chicken, beef, pork. It's, it's a good mixture. I mean, I, I always like the vegetables. It's healthy, you know, it's not like a big steak, all the fat on it. It's good, it's fun too. A lot of, it's spicy, good flavor. Like the intricate beauty of national architecture. Like the artful beauty of national dance. Thai cuisine provides an experience for the palate and eyes you won't forget. Thai food has long been globally popular, making fans internationally. It's also poised to continue reigning as a favorite world cuisine. Healthy Kitchen Hey guys, welcome to Jake's Healthy Kitchen. You know, healthy ingredients can make a happy table. And what ingredients do we have for you today? Well, the ancient Greeks and Romans were so mesmerized by this that they called it the food of the gods. And also, the more fancy and exotic this looks, be careful, because it can be fatally poisonous. Yeah, you have an idea? Well, here is this week's ingredients. This week's healthy ingredient is chewy yet fragrant, mushrooms. Mushrooms grow in the shadows in clean mountainous areas and on animal and plant nutrients. They're known to help prevent obesity, diabetes and cancer. So let's find ways to enjoy this healthy ingredient. Hey chef, you must be Paul Shank. Hi Jake, I am. Hey, nice Welcome. to meet you. Very nice to All meet right. you. Well, here are the ingredients that you wanted me to bring today. Looks great, Jack. Yeah. You've got beautiful fresh mushrooms. Yep. It's a very nice selection that, you've, that we've got in front of us. Hey, Chef, there are so many various types of mushrooms here. Mm. And I'm a little confused about the names and the uses. Mm -hmm. Can you help me out here? Yeah, sure. We'll just go through a few. This is a Saesongyi mushroom. Oh, Saesongyi. From Korea. Okay. Um, the middle part is very fleshy. Oh. Not much flavor in this mushroom, though. Not Whereas, much flavor? No, no. Looks good, presents well. Yeah, does. Great for slicing and grilling, but in terms of flavor, not, not too much flavor. Oh. But, Chef, it's a little funny because, um, I know the beautiful and the fancy looking mushrooms are the ones that are dangerous. Right. But this is just too ugly to eat. It's a what very, is? very attractive fungus. And this really? is This is a, a truffle, a black, fresh truffle. Oh. And it's so extremely expensive. This is the famous truffle. This is the famous truffle. Oh. What? Well, this is it's pretty, is it small? Is it considered small? That's this, considered a big one. It's considered a big one. How yeah. much would this cost? That piece there is about four to five hundred dollars. Four to five hundred dollars. Chef, all right, I'm sorry. I take back whatever I said about the truffle. It's not ugly. Um, and Beautiful. yeah, I have to eat one of these. I have to eat this. Yeah, four to five hundred dollars. Let's go cook. Let's go. Step one, mushroom dixel. Chef, you could take over and just show okay. me what's going on. Today we're gonna make, the first dish that we'll make is actually a dixel. 
It's a tradition, very traditional, classic French way of preparing mushrooms. Duck cell? Duck cell. That's a new word for me. There you go. What's a duck cell? A duck cell, well, it, it, it's purely the preparation. Purely I tried preparation. to find out more information about the history, mm -hmm. and it, historically it doesn't actually mean anything. The name originally comes from an, an employer of somebody. Oh. So it's named after someone. Well, guess okay. what? You're going to be cooking it, actually. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've cooked uh -huh. this a thousand times. Okay, I'm easy. always wanting to try new things, so... You add a little bit of the olive oil to the pan? Like this? A little bit more? Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay, all right. All right, mm. onions next. Onions are in. Onions. All Slice. of that, all of that. All of this? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, look at that sizzling sound. The yogurt mushroom first. Do I... And the other mushrooms. Oh. Give it a good okay. mix again. Okay. Voila, look at that. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> okay, Chef, I have one question. There must be so many ways to cook mushrooms. What's the benefit of stir frying them? What's the benefit of stir frying stir mushrooms? Yes. I guess it brings all the flavor out. Oh. And again, not cooking for too long. Okay. It's very quickly cooked, but it's brought the flavor out. And inside the mushrooms is a lot of moisture. Beautiful and very easy for us to work with. Exactly. Them. That took like what? Two, three minutes. Done. Yeah, that's done. Now the next step, we have to put this on top of a steak. Oh, okay. So what we'll do, we've got the beautiful steaks here. We've got some go. nice Wagyu beef. Wagyu beef, yeah. okay. First, thoroughly season the meat for the steak with olive oil, pepper and salt. Cook until it's done medium well. Place a generous portion of duxelle made with shiitake mushrooms and pine mushrooms on top of the steak and make the crust in the oven. Okay, so our steaks are done. Eight or nine minutes now. So wow. you can feel that. That's a pretty okay. good medium. Ooh. We have some sauce. It's a red wine sauce. Red wine sauce. And basically wow. it's a beef, beef stock. Put the sauce on the plate. Put the beef on the middle of the plate. Oh. A little wow. bit of color. Okay. A steak cooked just right with wine sauce topped with a rich mushroom paste. Okay, I'm gonna um, taste this. Oh. Is it how you ordered it, sir? It's oh. exactly how I ordered it, sir. Beautiful, enjoy that. See this cameraman? Take, take a look at this. Look. Ooh. It just melted in my mouth, like as if it was water. This, this steak is great. I mean, the, the quality of the beef alone, but the... the I have to shake your hand. That's how good it was. Oh my goodness. It was in ancient Greece and Rome that people started to use mushrooms for food. In the East, mushrooms were favored by Qin Shi Huang of China as an exile of life and the famous beauty Yang Wei-Fei considered it the source of her fairness. Even in modern times, mushrooms are considered a food of high quality nutrition and are cooked in many ways, providing different flavors and scents for many. Step two, gnocchi with mushrooms. Okay, let's make our gnocchi. Gnocchi time. So, first thing is the potato. We put the potato into the into the bowl. Okay. You just got to mix that and get it nice and soft with your hands, Jake. Me, I you. mix it. Okay, just to this we also add our parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. I just keep. Do I just keep mix, mixing? You keep mixing. Am I a human mixer? <laughs> Today you are. <laughs> Let me put a couple of. Eggs into our... Okay, just... Do, do I just keep mixing Keep still? mixing, keep mixing. Let's see mm. how that comes along. So our oh. water's boiling. Jake is mixing. I'm and just going to go for a coffee. Ha <laughs> 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 I almost believed you I too. I wish I could though. <laughs> Dough and the... And the uh, or the mix 
and the bench. Nice. We're going to break that in half and we will make okay. one sausage each. So, uh, are we trying to see who makes a better sausage? Who makes, who's, who's got the Are you challenging sausage? me? Are you challenging uh, me, chef? Because I'm always up for a challenge. There we go. <laughs> this is hard. Very hard. We'll sing us out. Let go. You go, look, it's, oh my goodness. You got it. Okay. Cut the dough in three to four centimeter pieces and shape it so the sauce is well absorbed. When it comes to a boil, add the dough pieces and take them out when they surface. Stir fry gnocchi until crispy. Which is good. It's good. Again, the mushrooms love oil. So they're gonna they're gonna drink most of that up. I think you love oil more. more. I love I love. I told you I love olive oil. <laughs> Our onions go in. The second thing will be button mushrooms. Um, so but so the mushrooms are now frying. It's a nice nice sound you can hear. Mm -hmm. But you see see how the oils disappeared. Okay. Yeah. The I mushrooms have taken it. We will put the agaric, the baby agaric mushrooms in. Wow, that is good already. Okay, and you can smell, I mean, the, the, the beautiful aroma of the, uh, of the mushrooms comes out. Okay, the mushrooms are coming up beautifully, nice colour. In a frying pan, sauté cherry tomatoes along with the gnocchi. Add enoki and cream and leave to simmer until the cream melts. Plate it and garnish with rocket lettuce and parmesan cheese. And it's all done. We if are missing. Eyes, if you close your eyes right now and smell this, smell this, smell this, smell that. What does it smell like? What does it smell like? Don't open your eyes. What does it smell like? It smells like what I've been waiting for my whole life. That's what you've been waiting for your whole life. Yes, truffles. Truffle. 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 That's one truffle. Tru that's one truffle. One piece. I just made a mistake. Oh. All the way from France. Oh, it's a winter truffle. Beautiful smell. When it enters the room, you can, you can smell it. It's very, uh, very, the, the smell is diff difficult to describe, but it's very earthy. It smells kind of good for something they just it's picked gorgeous. up in the dirt. Yeah. Gorgeous. I've oh. gone off to another land. You, can, you want to close your eyes? <sighs> you close, just, just think Takes for a little bit. Takes me back, Jake. Takes me back. Is that a tear for me? <laughs> <in the eye? laughs> All right. Okay, so. We're slice this, we're put gonna... it on top, and then it's time for you to eat. You can smell the they black. Weren't, they weren't farmed, but they're, they're, they're propagated now in a couple of other countries, and uh, they're trying to produce this, this magic. Gnocchi with mushrooms will let you enjoy the unique scent and flavor of pine mushrooms. A truly healthy dish. Mm. So there you go. Bon appetit. Wow. Much chicken sale. My black diamonds or black gold. Black gold. Yeah. On top. Yes. Knock in the truffle. Wow. Cut the camera off. I'm gonna finish this. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is good. Uh, sorry, Jake. Jake, mm. you gotta share this with the whole team, man. This is not just for you, all right? Yeah, but look how many people are here. You gotta share it with everybody. I don't see anybody. Where are people? Oh, man. I don't see anybody. Where? I don't see anybody. Where Where all right, one from? more, please. One more. From? Please, just one more. Just one more. All right, one please. more. One more. Please, thank you. It's killing me just watching. Recently, mushrooms have earned a new reputation as being the protector of cancer. Wow. Well, that's because of the better glucan found in mushrooms. Better glucan is known to enhance the body's immune system and also protect you from illnesses and the effects of aging. So if you eat about two to three mushrooms a day, you can give yourself a big boost for your immune system. So stock up on your mushrooms, okay? Now our table is filled with the aroma of mushrooms and I just wish I could send this healthy table to each of your homes out there, but I can't. So why don't you try this and maybe your kitchen can be healthier and happier too. And remember, you are what you eat. 
Thank you, Chef, for the great day and the great food today. My pleasure, Jake. All right. Um, so do you want to finish off the food? Oh, yeah. Yeah? OK, Let's cool. Let's in. Do we have to keep some for them as well? Oh, no. <laughs>